Hello everybody, welcome to Kind of Beats. Uh, in my living room at the moment, studio is under construction, has some issues, but regardless, we're here for episode three, um, where it's gonna get nice and messy. And before that, let's first have a listen to what the before and after is, so that you can even, so that you can figure out uh, what uh, this whole series ends up to be. So let's have a listen to the before. After. Super nice poppy track from an artist named Dexter Williams. You can check him out in the description below. And a super awesome part about this whole thing is you can even get this project file if you go over to patreon.com slash beats. And on top of that, you can remix this file and you can be released uh, with him as well, which is just epic. So make sure to go and do that. Give this little video a like, please. That'll be great. A uh, comment will be awesome. And for the rest, enjoy the episode and uh, sit back, relax, see me get frustrated. <laughs> Cheers. All right, it's a week later. I had to rip out a hole in my kitchen to do things and now it's a nightmare so i kind of uh, lost track of uh, what i was doing um but luckily there is fucking notes put reese here too as it is awesome somehow smashed i think i already did that yeah okay cool for top end and what i figured out is uh i have the playlist of um uh, dexter williams so uh, i will be going through this a little bit later to like reference as well um, and the the SoundCloud has like way more views and things like that, but it's still good to just go through these uh, these tracks too at the moment. Um, so let's go check out what this sounds like right now because I have absolutely no clue anymore. Bit muddy, eh? Let me just, uh, hold on. What the fuck is going on? Oh, that's this one. Okay. <laughs> Let me, I just kind of want to organize this a little bit in my head and then I'll, I'll get back into it. You guys know that feeling. Okay. It's still in the middle of the mix. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. How long is this feedback? All right, sorry, it's just a bit much. Um, okay. Oh my God. Let's check out the original. Okay. the fuck was that okay let's just keep going and then I, I what the hell what the hell uh huh okay let me just first get rid of this low end here because it's like in a different key it's it's this is broken dude <laughs> what oh my god Okay, great. Go away. Okay, fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna. F I'm just kind of fixing. Uh, I think the key here is that it needs to be a clean sound. So, like, I know that grits like all types of fun. Uh, um, but we don't really need need that in an effect sexy okay now this thing is going to be in the way so let's just go like this i'll do it like that is that smart i don't know we're having a, having a play right now <sighs> okay so this has to be a big impact over here for something for vocals i don't know what this is <laughs> You know that I don't want you. 
Okay, cool, whatever. Okay, so I'll just turn this on uh, when it's needed with automation. Uh, I'll figure out what to do with that later on. Should we just keep the fucking impact? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Bit weird, to be honest. I don't know if I like that. That sounds pretty cool. Let's pop that back in. I think I might just put a completely different impact there. I'm going to make this red for a second and assign it to everything and then go rethink impacts because maybe we just need like um, a send instead. Uh, so let me just do that instead. So this will be an effect send. So we'll get a reverb. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Full wet does matter. Long matters. Wet, long. <laughs> Sorry. Um, put that there. I'm just going to rename this to effects clap or effects, effects uh, verb. And then this needs to be an impact, right? So right there. Oh, shut up, man. That doesn't matter. Okay, there. Oh, or, no, it's this one. Sorry. There go, because it's on two and four. No. Stop it. See, now we have that. And it needs to be a little bit obnoxious, so let's just make it loud. Perfect. So that works better than the that. Um, but this works really good here. So let's just do that clap thing every single time there is a kick uh, playing. Then we don't need that one. And every single time nothing's playing, uh, no low, and then we use that. Uh, this will probably work there. This doesn't work there. Just cleaning. It's not really like... Sexy mixing, check out this plugin, but you can still give a like. Please! So bad at social media. Uh, so this sucks. That sucks. Is it the same thing, by the way? Yep, yeah, no. Uh, it's a super cool effect, but it doesn't really work, which is fine. There we go, just put it on the two. Bang. Uh, here's a, this one I turned off, so it's going to be here again, bang. And I'll automate, this is going to stay like that. Okay, and this is going to stay like that. So that means that this stays, that goes. They'll stay, stay, stay. Okay, great. So now we don't have that weird, um, sorry, now we don't have that weird problem anymore. Just replace the same effect. Now, let's automate this because it's boring to just go tsh, tsh, tsh. For me, that's like just a little bit crappy. So what I'll do is I'll use a LFO tool from, um, no, not LFO, just LFO. Yeah, LFO. From Thingamajig, uh, what's his face again? Uh, Max for Live. And we're going to put it on size. And I'll let that then... Every single time it hits on those little things, the size is going to be a little bit different. So therefore, the color of the, uh, the reverb will be a little bit different. So I'll just move it over there, somewhere there, and rate really, really slow. And maybe, wait, hold, do a little bit faster for saying. Somewhere there would be good, and the depth would be increased a tad. Hold on, it's a little, I'm faffing around, but I'm looking at this knob over here. There we go. And now we're always gonna have like a little bit of a different type of clap. So this clap.
So we do that on the right. Well, let's just do it like that for now. And now there's like a, a thing. Um, wait, hold on. We need to have some carnival music. might work it might be fucking horrible but that's okay it's about uh, kind of figuring it out as we go now there's a neo verb here for something so let's just double check what that could have been uh, and then we'll replace that so this is for send a send a there's something here no there's nothing there's nothing there okay um Oh, there's something here. Okay, so the vocal had a neo verb on the chops and the mid middle vocal, and there was a neo verb on top of that as well. So I don't think um, this neo verb would have done. This is only a reverb for um, the overall sound. So I don't think we need that. We can get rid of that. CLA 76 with an ozone image. This is my little thing. You fantastic. I'm happy that you're using it. Um, a little bit weird that it's automated as it's just a compressor. Ooh. Oh no, no, A. We no, we have to look at A. Excuse me. Uh let's look at A again. So this is going into A. A. Oh, maybe I did this. Maybe I did that. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I don't remember. Let's go into A, let's double check that. Somehow smashed. It smashed the fucking shit. It's just uh, the tick of that M1 is uh, very, very heavy, so I'm going to have to clean that up. Uh, I'll do that a little bit later. Um... Yeah, I think I accidentally went a tad, tad too much there. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see if we can clean it up with an EQ. Probably not. Uh, it's ticking away a tad too much, eh? Uh, how can we do the transient designer or RxD click? Let's try RxD click for a second. Let's go with o D click, Rx10. It's fun that I can actually mix my the, the track and not really care about um, what plugins I'm using. That works perfectly fine. But I'm gonna put that in at the end because um, harmony. I'm gonna put it in the end uh, because um, it's gonna like slow down my computer. So M1, uh, make this red again. Put D click uh, on exports. Okay, make that red so I can see it. No, that's pink. That's red. There we go. And then, what is this? Adjust, adjust course on arrangement. Okay, interesting. And then we have a Reese here. Maybe really long notes would be nice. Let's try this out for a second. Maybe, I'm not really sure if I agree with uh, myself here. But we'll see. Let's just legato it for a second, poof, so now we're done. Um, uh, 
Let's do that without the vocal for a second just to see if that actually is nice because my first reaction to the track was a little bit too much of that and now I would be adding more of that. I think I just like the sound and that's basically it. So I'm a sucker for a Reese, you know. Let's also EQ it so that we don't have the, so we can keep the sub low, like mono, blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's, I mean, it's very UK, but I think it's too much to do this kind of stuff. Like, it's gonna, that's more drum and bass, and I don't think it's smart to do this, but I like it. Oh, optional. Oh, I like it, though. Fuck. Um, aside, let's just mix this in a bit. Especially that, sorry, but I've been also, I also do like lots of hardcore techno stuff. So then it's really nice to have. Fuck yeah, bitch. Uh, sorry, makes me happy. So, yeah, let's push that in, see if, if that works. Let's just compress that as well so that... Um, the when the top end comes in, then it just gets turned down a tad because otherwise it's a little bit too loud. Although I like it, we can't have that too much. I'm kind of pushing my boundaries here as well. Uh, we're going to internal side chain to where would it be about here ish 500. Don't know if we need the internal side chain, but might need it if this compressor doesn't react enough. Hardcore as fuck. And our yeah, release can be that. Yeah, so we need the internal side chain because it I want the open filter to kind of turn down a bit more. Okay, so it fits in. <laughs> Is it a nice thing that I'm doing? Don't really know, but it fits, so whatever. I'm putting it as an option because I like it, which is selfish. Eh. Um, let's also put in Sounds bad, I know, but we're going to put in a tad of reverb just to make it sound even bigger than it is. Might be worse. Ah, keep it the same as it is. Okay, harmony, how does that sound? Maybe just the, this part. No, <laughs> that's a total clash. I love it, but it, I can't do it. Oh Lord, um, that doesn't work. Okay, and the vocals.
I think to be honest, we're pretty much good with the sound as is. Uh, I'm already gonna move on to just first slapping a limiter on it. And then after that, I'll clean up all the crap. Or should we just clean up the crap first? Let's do that first. Still a couple little things, but I'm happy. Weird that this just kind of dies like that. So I'm going to make another effect. Reverse reverb. Reverb. And we don't need to move that around. All right, DK. So something like that. Uh, D. This reverse reverb reverb, which is going to be yellow because it's part of this. And I'm just going to say what it is. Uh, effect long lock. Okay. There we go. Pop that there because it just kind of stops, which is weird. Okay, cool. Okay. That vocal is like super loud here all of a sudden. I don't get that why that is. This is. Oh, it's just the wrong. This one was only till there. Okay, well, okay. Um, that's kind of annoying. How can I easily fix that? I think I'll just do that and then delete that and then put that there. <laughs> That's going to be fucked as well. Something distorting. Okay, cool, whatever. Okay. Uh, then these are broken. This is the chops aren't working yet. Ooh, stop it. Stop, stop, stop fucking around. So the chops aren't working. Um, so I get rid of... Oh, no, wait. There's a point to this. So he did that to try probably a slapback delay. Not sure if that's nice. And then this is the middle vocal. I still need to put all the effects there. Because this is the same as that. What is this? This is the whole fucking chain. Nice. Okay. Group. Group. Sorry. So I'm saying this is, this is, that is, and that might be confusing to you. Is basically what I'm doing is um, finding out. The, the chains that are put on, the chains are basically what I just deleted. So what I have now is a chain. So now we have a vocal chain. And that's the vocal chain that's going to be working for this because both middle vocal and this thing called main, they're both main. So they're both lead and lead uh, two. Uh, and then these are chops. And now I'm thinking I will immediately already put my chain. There we go behind the chop and then for this it for this chain there we go yeah this one um this middle this choppy vocal needs to be like separate so that's probably why the original artist chose to eq it like this because normally what you can do is make like a little slap delay like that um and then with the slap delay so it's a wider vocal you get this part uh, to be accentuated um I don't know if Ableton is going to have the nicer filter because sometimes this thing really starts distorting quite heavy. Um, so I just want to play with this for a second to get the idea of what the fuck was actually going on. Okay, let's try with that. Wait, who just said that? You? Oh my god, Lord, you need to be quiet. Minus 4.2. Yeah, I'm scared that this is going to start um, creating quite a lot of problems. So let me just put this over here for a second. We have to th rethink this. I'm going to also make the want you super wide in comparison to the other part. I 
need to question the artist. Uh, fucking bitch. No, I need. I don't need to question the artist if he's a fucking bitch. No, I need to check uh, if he's trying to do slap back. Is he trying to do a slap back? Uh, let me also check the previous releases uh, to see what I did for... If I did slapbacks or not, because I can't remember. So let's, like, do this one. No, I didn't do that one. I think I might actually steal that bass that I did for myself. Um, I didn't really hear, I heard like a tiny part where there was a slap back with a delay on it. No, I don't think that I did slap backs for, um, for these guys. Oh no, I did. Listen. In the back. Yeah, okay, so slapbacks are a thing. Woo! Sorry I have to be so, like, extra, but it's just, you need to get that part right. I don't think we need a delay box. Uh, keep that nice and tight, because otherwise there's too much reverb crap going on. So let's just check this, how this flows with the track a bit. Now we're, by, by the way, going from that, like, cleaning up all the little parts, mixing, to the slowly getting a helicopter view and figuring out the, 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 the arrangement and how that works. And that's going to say how the rest of the little details are going to be mixed. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this is like going between that and this. Let me just check what this is over here, because this is where I think my mind is full. Might need to go to the main lead vocal instead. I think what I'll do is I'll move these over here. Uh, wait, let me double check for, um, what's it called? God, stop being such an idiot. Let me double check for any potential automation on this lead with this thing. So inside my mind, do, 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 that's gonna be going on. So just let me be Dude, what? Okay, whatever. So, well, let's just take that part and then keep that over on the uh, main. And then I'm going to treat um, this thing with, with this area. It's like a different part of the track. They need kind of a similar vocal feel. Um, but this is still part of the main in my head. Okay. Okay. Wah! Now I need to make sure that I, c oh God, is the, does this still have it? No, where did the, where did the automation go? Fucking cunt. Just copy the whole, copy this. Copy that with everything on it, please. No, place it here. Son of a bitch. Copy the automation. 
Yeah, thank you. And then place it over here. There we go. Automation is on. Okay, great. Oh, sorry. So it's all right, something like that. All right. Oh no, this needs to go here. Sorry, the automation's a little bit faffy, but that's just the way it is. Okay, so then that's now good. Okay, good. Now we delete this part. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right, so we have main vocal. We have the fuck. We have something going on here. Uh, so I'll make those red. And call this do something. Don't know what yet. All right. Um, and this is like a, a answer, question answer, quest answer type of situation that I need to figure out somehow. Um, okay. I think we're uh, making some progress, but we're like halfway through. Let's already try to put a limiter on as well, because I'm kind of coming to an end. I'm putting a limiter on just to quickly see if I can get to the loudness that I want. And I want to quickly just see how does the limiter behave? Am I going to be farting? I think uh, the loudness of the other track was about minus seven-ish, minus eight-ish. So we'll just push to that, see what happens. Uh, I'll turn this down for a second so you guys don't get blasted. Um, so yeah, we'll go check it. Yeah, so we're getting, we're getting quite a lot of distortion. If we want to one this. But where's the one to one button here? Yeah, so we're going to have to faff around a little bit. Um, I think at the low end, that's farting. Really fast. So we have to figure that out. Is that because of this? No, the low end kick drum, the low of the kick is just instantly farting. So let me figure that out as well. Um, Gonna rename that. I might have to just replace the kick. And that's it for now. Slowly getting into the more complicated crap, but vocals, limiter doesn't fucking work. <sighs> Let me just write this for a second. Rename. Limiter is farting. I want my limiter to do as little as possible. So that's why I'm trying to already kind of pinpoint where problems might occur. Okay, so I hope you've liked this uh, little session of just really mixing, doing everything off the cuff, no preparations. Um, make sure to go give the artist a little like and um, uh, support, that will be nice. I'm gonna be doing something else now. <laughs> That's it, all right, <laughs> peace out. Much love, like subscribe, write something for the algorithm, then maybe uh, one day I'll, I'll be a YouTube guy. Bye.